The Samsung Galaxy 4 is here. This US $2,000 foldable phone is like no other smartphone. The flexible screen allows you to fold it up so it fits into your pocket. And then unfold it to the size of a small tablet. Let's break down 3 things I like and 3 things I didn't like about the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Folding the phone is easy, but it's held shut with magnets, so unfolding it takes a bit of effort. I had to use two hands to unfold it every time. And while our unit didn't break, I was always really nervous that it would. So sometimes I didn't even try to unfold it, just in case. On the other hand, when you do unfold the phone, the screen is amazing. The Galaxy Fold screen measures 7.3 inches. It sounds simple to say a bigger screen is better, but it really does make a difference. You can see so much more than on a normal smartphone. Dodging the web feels totally different on this phone. But the best thing about it? Gaming. I spend more time playing games on the Galaxy Fold than any other smartphone. It's such a unique experience. But the big screen isn't perfect. No matter how hard I try, I can't help but notice this. The crease. You can see the line where the phone folds at all times. Sometimes it's more obvious than others, but it's always there. The more I see it, the more it makes this phone feel cheap to me. And the US $2,000 phone should never feel cheap. The good thing about a big screen is that you can do so much with it. You can have two apps side by side, or even three apps on a single screen. I can have YouTube playing over here, Pokemon Go on the bottom, and Google News open too. But you can only control one app at a time. So if I scroll here, Pokemon Go pauses. Thankfully, YouTube videos will always keep playing. You don't have to unfold the phone. There's a screen on the outside that you can use too, but it's not very good. The screen is small, it has huge bezels, and it's not very convenient. About the only thing it's useful for are notifications. But even then, I found myself preferring to unfold the big screen to read notifications. The outer screen just isn't good enough. The Galaxy Fold is a technical powerhouse. There's a reason this phone can run three apps at once. Inside, you've got a Snapdragon 855 processor, 12GB of RAM, and 512GB of storage. There's even a model in South Korea with 5G. The phone has the sort of internals you expect from a US $2,000 flagship device. Battery life is great too. I spent a whole day using the phone, and by 5pm, the battery was still at 60%. I was really surprised by how much I liked the phone. The big screen is amazing, and multitasking works really well. But the biggest problem with the phone is the price. For US $2,000, a phone should be close to perfect. And the Galaxy Fold has too many flaws. The outer screen needs to be improved. I don't want to have to open the Galaxy Fold every time I need to use it. It's too inconvenient to have to unfold it all the time. And when I do open it, I don't want to feel nervous about it. Right now, I'm scared I will drop or break it. Samsung made a solid start here. I'm excited to see what the second generation Galaxy Fold will be like. With a lower price tag and improvements all around, I might even buy it. But the current Galaxy Fold isn't worth it.